That's a lot of nuts. Another common Sumeto W, baby. Nothing but W takes from this guy. That's what they're saying all over the internet. Sumeto can't miss. Regardless of what I tweet, everybody's in the replies like, hold on. Let him cook. Because they know whatever comes out of my kitchen is going to be fire, baby. I've never had a bad take ever. They call me Sumeto Good Take Twitter Person Media. That's my full name. It's on my girth certificate. And it's girthy, let me tell you. Twitter has a unique hierarchy when it comes to the clout of which you are allowed to yield. You can have millions of followers. But if you take Twitter too seriously, Twitter tends to not take you very seriously. Such as you can see from any politician or idiot who doesn't embrace the memes. How long is this video? Case number one, just a couple days ago, Andrew Taint, whom I'm honestly sick of making videos of at this point, because none of it, none of it feels interesting. It's not like watching like a god fall from the flaws that he didn't know he had. It's like a dude who didn't deserve the attention, trying his hardest to climb up the mountain of clout and then realizes that he's bald. Andrew Tate's whole personality feels like when a football player gets nominated as class president and has to answer questions. Hey, now that you're class president, what are you gonna do to help student morale? Uh, I don't know what that word means, but uh, everybody at a rival school is a bunch of virgins. Yeah, shut up. Just shut up. I have seen other people describe Andrew Tate with a colorful assortment of personality traits, such as he was a kickboxing champion. He's basically a billionaire. The dude is the ultimate model for anybody who wants to become an alpha male. And yet, in actuality, the only time I have ever heard about Andrew Tate uh, has been in relation to his Bugatti. I don't think I've ever heard Andrew Taint without also having Bugatti in the same sentence. It's like his horcrux if I had read any of the Harry Potter books. A couple days ago, Andrew Taint decides to take shots at Greta Thunberg, you know, that girl from that thing from a meme a couple years ago that nobody has talked about since, bragging about the amount of CO2 emissions that his cars must exude in order to perform at their highest frequencies. Cars aren't computers, they don't have frequencies. RPMs. Greta Thunberg retweets this tweet and replies, yeah, sure, okay, that's cool. Um, send me an email at this obviously fake email making fun of how much of an alpha man you think you are. Which I'll admit, you know, Greta Thunberg's whole thing has been, she's been very cool-headed and meme-ridden ever since her rise to fame. Currently sitting at over a million and a half more followers on Twitter than Andrew Tate, who I might remind you makes his income from having followers on social media. So I don't I don't know how you're taking an L to a 19 year old in that regard, but we'll get to that later, I guess. Andrew Tate then decides to respond to this tweet that Greta Thunberg probably sent out while taking a shaka with no more than five minutes of thought with a two minute long Saturday Night Live style parody video looking like the next villain of a Far Cry game. And she replied by telling me her own email address. Greta's email address is, I have small dick energy. Why would that be your own email address, Greta? to like and retweet and all this bot commenting to try and pretend that her telling me that she has a small dick in her own email address somehow teaches me a lesson. My man is a self-proclaimed billionaire. You couldn't afford a writing staff? You set up a camera, put on a robe, and ordered a couple boxes of pizza just to say no you? This might be the worst reaction to getting ratioed on Twitter ever. I mean, this literal interpretation of an obvious joke rivals Ben Shapiro's bucket in a mop thing when he was watching the WAP music video. And let's be clear, this is literally just a reaction to getting ratioed. You called out a 19-year-old climate change activist for no reason on Twitter to get less than 200,000 likes just to have her retweet you after not tweeting for like a week because she's probably enjoying time with her family over the holidays and is now sitting at over three, almost three million likes. That, that, that ratio would make me drink bleach. I'm gonna be honest. I would not be able to stand that. It's like Andrew Tate got visited by the ghost of Christmas future and they were like, here's where you're gonna end up, Andrew, if you keep going down this road. All the money and cars in the world, but everybody's gonna think you're a douche online. And he was like, oh, no way. I get to keep my Bugatti? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. You miss, you miss the you miss the moral of this one, bro. Listen, I don't want to keep coming around to the same points or anything, but seriously, is there anything about this guy that doesn't have to do with his Bugatti? For those who have forgotten, Greta Thunberg initially gained her popularity from a passionate speech she made about climate change when she was like 16 years old, which was met with a weird and wildly inappropriate amount of people sexualizing her on the internet. Something to the tune of, well, if she's mature enough to be a professional when it comes to climate change, then why can't I have sex with her? Which is just... 
You guys gotta stop playing Genshin Impact, bro. It's poisoning your mind. I only mentioned that to state the fact that I think if you're sexualizing Greta in any way, even now that she's over the age of 18, it's an immediate L in my book. Apparently, Andrew Tate did not get that memo, maybe because he was banned off of all social media not that long ago. So when he responds to somebody saying that him and Greta should get a room already with, she ain't ready for me, bro. That's, that's a yikes. That's gonna be a yikes for me, dog. Greta Thunberg barely acknowledged your existence 24 hours ago, and yet you've made a video and tweets milking the situation to make you as relevant as you have been in the last couple months. I say this with as little irony as I am capable. She may be 19 now, Andrew, but hop off of her dick. <laughs> Dextera reports like an hour ago, according to Romanian news outlets, that Andrew Tate's villa in Romania has been raided by military police due to some sort of organized crime and or terrorism, but I'm sure it's just a complete misunderstanding. After all, that is what Andrew Tate claimed was the case when his house got raided like six months ago when the police said they were there due to rumors of international human trafficking. But you know the old adage, raid my villa under some sort of international crime once, shame on me. Raid my villa under some sort of guise of international crime twice. I, I really think this guy should be in jail. Hooters is shutting down and rebranding after research finds that millennials simply aren't that into boobs, which is incredible news for a self-proclaimed ass man like myself. I am pro all things double cheeked up on any day of the week. However, as a meme man, I'm thoroughly disappointed that any of you idiots would fall for this headline that was already fake when it came out in 2017. I did a whole episode on femboy hooters. Let's be honest with ourselves. It's never going to happen. And hooters, in my opinion, be honest with yourselves. A, it's got nothing to do with the boobs. First of all, if I go to Hooters, I'm not even guaranteed boobs. I'm just guaranteed a girl in a Hooters outfit. Half the time, they don't even have boobs. I don't want to be the one objectifying women, but that's the whole point of the store, right? And B, regardless of how good the boobs are, the wings are like 26 bucks for a dozen. Who is paying that? They don't even have garlic parmesan. Hooters sucks. Let them cook is one of these reaction images that, I mean, like the original is from like a Lil B YouTube video from like a decade ago, but this reaction image that I've been seeing all over Twitter to subpar jokes, tweets that could be good, but are just missing a little bit of oomph. I love this meme so much. It, it brings out such an emotion that I can identify with. I feel like my entire life making jokes on YouTube, trying to be funny has just been one long string of let them cook. Yo, Vaporeon's the most fuckable Pokemon. I feel like everybody on the internet who watched that video was like, hold on, let them cook? You might have a point there. John Cena's a big fan of ice cream. Maybe he'll say it in Chinese. Wow, that was kind of cringe, but hold on, let them cook. There's something here. Hey, yo, this shrimp wants to work at a Chinese restaurant, perhaps frying rice. Hey, yo, let them cook. Some some things you shouldn't let cook though, I'll be honest. Some 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 things you just gotta get out of the kitchen. Like this, for instance. I don't know what image I'm gonna use here, but you shouldn't let him cook. Take 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 away that boy's pan and a stove. Don't stop cooking. Don't cook that. You guys remember when I covered that Mr. Beast meme in the last meme video before the before the spaghetti and meatballs one? You remember how I said they were only getting worse and they were starting to haunt my nightmares? They're getting worse. They're getting so... Do you see this? Munster cheese? I thought before I could just enjoy some cheese on crackers, but no. Now I need to think of Mr. Beast. The other day I was watching Spongebob. I was like, let me take a break from memes. Let me just watch one of my favorite animated shows of all time. And then this happened. I don't even think this is a real scene in an episode of Spongebob. If you guys want to learn how to become a YouTuber, you can check out my online Hustlers Academy. That's Sumetto's Hustler Academy Media.com slash uh, discount 45 for $75 a month. I will give you $65 a month and then you will have made passive income. It is absolutely the number one way to make money online. You literally get it immediately. Nobody else can claim that they'll give you $65 just for signing up. Again, signing up costs uh, $85. So remember to do that while you're signing up for Sumetto's hustler magazine.com slash 
um, incognito mode, remember to hit the subscribe button. It'll make it so that I show up at your house at night. And if you hit the like button under this video, it'll make it so that I can sign up for other online academies. Listen, it's just one big circle. We all sign up for each other's online classes. And then, you know, we just keep giving ourselves the same $85 over and over again. And then we all become millionaires. It's very simple. Okay. It's just as easy as joining the Patreon. Those are the names scrolling behind me. These boys make the show happen and you keep the show clapping, right? You're applauding. Everybody's applauding at home. Good. I expect that out of you. Everybody applaud at home. I'm going to go take a nap. Peace.